okay let's play the game start okay let me input my guess mm -mm -mm -mm. i'll go with 40 submit the random number is within the range of 79 to 89 okay so what if i go with 85 submit it's an even number okay it's in the range of 79 to 89 it's not 85 and it's an even number so it could be 84 submit you guessed it right i guessed it right in the second attempt itself yay it's time to celebrate close hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we'll create a guess the number game let me give you all a quick overview of this game so this game generates a random number and allows the user to guess it within a certain number of attempts so we'll start by designing the interface of the game and uh, create a form where the user can put their guesses and see feedback about their guesses and remaining attempts also once the user reaches the limit he will display a message indicating that they have run out of attempts and we will reveal the correct answer so it's gonna be interesting without wasting further more time let's get right into the video let's create an interface for the user to input the guesses okay go to new and then click on interface and let's name our interface as okay guess the number cool create so once the interface is created I'll just drag and drop few of the components to save up my time I will need a text box okay then I will need a button submit button yeah button. there you go okay now I'll switch to expression mode and will make some modification over here okay so we'll name it as enter the number and this button is gonna be called as submit okay now what else i need i will also have to generate a random number okay so i will have to write some code for that that's gonna be easy peasy okay so we'll declare a local variable first a bang local variables okay let's name our local variable as local random random number cool so we'll use rand function to generate a random number and then we'll multiply it by the addition of max range and min range so we want our number to be generated within a certain range that is the number should fall between 1 and 100 okay so i will multiply it by the addition of max and min so max is gonna be 100 and min is gonna be 1 okay and then we'll wrap it inside to integer function because we want the number we want the random number to be in the form of integer okay to integer now if i just test this and show you guys the number it has generated it has generated 81 okay and if i test this again it will generate another random number that's two okay now what i'll do i will save the inputs of the user in a local variable okay local input and will pass the same over here so that user's input can be saved in into a local variable okay local input and value local input cool now if i input a number uh, four it's gonna get saved in this local variable okay as you can see here four four has been saved okay next we are going to capture the number of attempts okay so every time the user clicks on submit button we will be storing 
the attempts in a different local variable okay so we'll declare another local variable local attempts okay and then we'll use this variable in save into parameter as my target okay a bank save local attempts we have to increment this local variable by one because every time user clicks on this that means user has availed one out of three attempts okay so we will be incrementing this local variable by one so local attempts plus one let me just click this button to show you guys if this local variable is getting an incre incremented by one or not okay let's click this submit okay there is some error cannot add incompatible operands of type null and type integer so why we are getting this error because this local variable is null and we are trying to add one to this null local variable right one to null that's why it's throwing this error so what we have to do by default this should be one which is enough for us to understand that the user has not availed any attempts so far and when someone clicks on this that's gonna be their second attempt right so by default this has to be first attempt and when i click here it's gonna be my second attempt so this should get changed to two right let me just test this okay before that let me format the code and test this again so it's my first attempt right now let me just input my guess five okay now if i click the submit button this is gonna be my second attempt and when i click here this should get null right because it's my second attempt i'm going to input my guess right i'm not going to input the same number again i'm going to input some different number right so i have to make it null on the click of submit button so here i'm going to use another a bank save to to nullify my text field right a bank save local input and null okay when i click on the submit button make this local variable null okay now i'll again test this let me input my guess 7 submit so this is my second attempt and this has become null now so it's working all right next i will also have to provide the user with some hint right but over here if i make it null how would i compare my input with my random number i won't be able to compare it because i am making it null every time user clicks on the submit button right so for that what i'll do i'll take another local variable local save input let's name it as local save input okay and then i will save the same input whatever i have in this local variable to this local variable local save input okay but on the click of submit button okay let's use another a bank say but i will have to use it before it makes local input null okay so i'll use it over here a bank save local target is gonna be my local save input and what do i have to store i have to store the value of local input in my local save input right local local input okay so first it is gonna execute this a bank save where it's gonna increment this local attempt by one okay and after that it's gonna pass the value of local input to local save input and then it's gonna make local input null okay uh, next we'll also have to provide user with some hint okay so we'll be providing user with only three attempts okay so there has to be at least three hints for the user to guess the number right 
तो फर्स्ट इंट इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द रेंज ओके लेट से एवरी टाइम यूज ए लेंस ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड द रैमडन नंबर इज जनरेटेड ओके आई विल हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ हिंट स्टेटिंग दैट द नंबर इज बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस रेंज ओके सो दैट आई कैन मेक इट ईजियर फॉर द यूजर टू गेस्ट द नंबर सो लेट्स डिक्लेयर अ लोकल वेरिएबल लोकल रेंज cool so for this what i'll do let's say if my random number is 10 i will add 5 to that random number and subtract 5 from that random number so that i can get a range of 10 numbers okay so local random number okay i will have to add 5 cool I just can't show the hint like that. I will have to make it a bit meaningful, right? I just can't say like ten to twenty. It would not make any sense to the user. So we will be doing this with a proper hint, like proper message. Okay. So we'll use concat function. Okay, concat. Uh. the random number the random number um, is with in the range within the range of okay the random number is within the range of comma now within the range of If the random number is fifteen, it should be within the range of eleven and twenty, right? So we'll have to first subtract five from the random number, right? So minus five. Random number is within the range of local random number minus five, and then comes again comma. within the range of 11 and 20 so now i will be adding 5 to random number right local random number plus 5 okay this is going to be my first hint so let's test this random number is 49 if i just show you what a local range says it says the random number is within the range of 44 to 54 because we want the range of 10 numbers right but there has to be some space between of and 44 okay of i'll just add some white space over here and that would do my job next what we have to do we just have to okay so we have to provide the user with second hint which is gonna be about odd or even whether random number is odd or even okay so local even even or odd cool if local local random number okay let's use mod 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 of dividend and divisor right so dividend is going to be this and divisor is going to be 2 if mod of okay 2 if this is equal to 0 then it's an even number okay the message should be like uh, it's an even number okay if it is not equal to 0 then it's an odd number right let me just copy this and paste it over here and i'll change this to odd okay let's test this again so this even or odd says it's an even it's an even number because 10 is an even number right let me test this again it has an added 3 it's an odd number okay so we are done with two of our hints okay i hope so far you guys are with me now let's come to 
hint number three that's gonna be about um, whether the user has guessed too low or too high okay so we will be comparing this input the third input with the previous input of the user okay so let's again declare a local variable uh, high or low high or low okay so so for this hint we will be comparing input of the user with the previous input of the user okay so if local input so local input as in the input of the user okay so if local input is greater than the local save input local save input where we are storing the input of the user on click of submit button which we are not nullifying right we are only making local input nullable okay so we'll compare local input with local save input if local input is greater than the local save input we will display a hint stating that your guess is too high okay your guess is too high exclamation mark else if it is not greater than then your guess is too low okay cool comma what if local input is equal to the random number in that case it should say you guessed it right right so there has to be one more condition to handle this properly that it shouldn't be equal to the random number local input shouldn't be equal to the random number right local number is not equal to the local random number okay it says cannot compare left operand is null right operand is null okay so this should only be uh, 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 okay my bad we have to compare it with local input local input right it is it is still says cannot come cannot compare left operand is null right operand is null so let's do a null check over here if a bank is null or empty local input if local input is null or empty then local save input would be null or empty right so if local input is null or empty then do nothing else do this okay then execute this condition if it is not null or empty right it's gone now so far what we have done we have set a num set a limit on the number of attempts allowed okay and also we have this local variable local attempts to track the number of attempts the user has made okay all right that is it for the day i'll cover the rest of it in my next video so stay tuned for part two if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye